Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on 11 September 2020, 19 years after 2001 when the towers went down. We lost a couple friends that day, uh, so we always like to start uh, the trading day on uh, September 11th. A little bit of a moment of silence. Um, tough day for us all that day. Tougher for the families uh, and the wives, and the children of uh, a lot of guys in those buildings. So we just have a little moment of silence here in memorial to the people that were lost on September 11th, 2001. Lost, but not forgotten. Let's go to the charts now uh, and have a look at today here. Equity's a little bit higher overnight. Uh, up sort of 40 basis points from the lows there. Um, now at 33.50. FX dollar has been mostly weaker overnight after a very strong finish yesterday with the risk off, but kind of a nothing Asian session. Dollar yen 106, sort of 0820, 12 point range. Nothing to nothing to speak about. We got UK GDP and US CPI today. Let's go to the sterling products. Yesterday was a watershed uh, day with uh, the market punishing Boris Johnson for his tomfool, tomfoolishness. Um, we've seen backbenchers rebel against um, IMB and this sort of blatant uh, breaking of international law. So I wouldn't be surprised if the UK changes tact on this and cable does a little bit of a bump today. Euro sterling especially looks a little bit stretched. We don't mind selling Euro sterling today, waiting for uh, the UK to come to their senses. I was talking with some guys last night and we all were saying is the UK going to shoot themselves in the foot like they did with Brexit the vote um, and we talked about how is this different this time and who's involved and um, but with sensible voices like Theresa May's voice uh, in Parliament yesterday when she talked about how can the world trust the UK if they uh, flout international law like this. So we do think this is probably going to turn around a bit. So we're not as in love with buying cable, but we do like selling Euro Sterling today, a little core short on sort of a political position. Uh, slightly unusual for us, but uh, we like short Euro Sterling. Dollars are a big up day after a huge down day. Up one and a half, down one and a half, up one and a half, down one and a half. We've been basically 60, 90 uh, for one, two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days. Red, green, red, green, red, green. It's like a Christmas ornament. Is it going to resolve itself today uh, through 17, the figure? Maybe. Uh, but we need confirmation of that. So you can pre-position for that tiny, but you really got to wait for confirmation through 17, the figure, if you're going to get on board uh, the weaker RAND trade. Dollar Max still on its knees, down to 22 yesterday, back up to 46, which was sort of the breakdown, and now a pivot back up through 46 is going to bleed into some stops for those who did go short down there through the lows. Aussie now in the middle of nowhere. Was the end? Same thing in the middle of nowhere. Did did a little bit of a stretch move up to 77.80 yesterday, but then uh, fell back with the risk off. Here we are, 77.24, just kind of floating around, waiting, waiting for the next directional pull. Gold Doji yesterday, gravestone Doji. Um, middle of nowhere but it does look like she wants to head lower and we're watching this 1907 area pretty closely this sort of dovetails with euro which we do think is going to break 117.50 uh, big failure yesterday and the fact that the ECB is openly talking about uh, the value of the euro and I know she was hedging her bets because she doesn't want to be called a currency manipulator but it's been a long, long while since the ECB is talking about Europe being too strong. We think this is going to weigh on longs. Um, and longs that are comfortable are going to tighten their stops. Uh, meaning longs from 115 are now going to tighten their stops going into the end of the year and move these stops up. So we think this downside is going to be at risk. Dollar Swiss, 92 cents is the big number on the top side. Bit of a rejection down there at 90.50. It's the same chart as Euro. Uh, just patience for now. We'll see how, how how she comes together. Finally, equities. Another hundred handle day. High was 22. Low was 20, 27. 95 handles. Through 32.95, it gets real dicey. Until then, we're just going to dance around and play this game. Um, I do have to say the downside looks the weak side to me. Um, but no dog in this fight right now at 33.52. Um, we'll be watching this 32.95 level very, very closely. Finally, Bitcoin not doing much. Um, up to 10.5, 10,500 yesterday. Um, after printing the 9,800s, looks like consolidation here. Could go either way, back up or back down. Um, if it does go back down, we will be tactically on the bid again. We have a structural long, as you all know, uh, but we also will trade this tactically. Maybe around 9,400, between 9,400 and 9,000. We dip our toe in for a little tactical trade. Try and sneak a couple percent uh, onto the Bitcoin averages. Anyway, CPI and GDP today. Uh, we'll be trying to trade Euro left hand side, which basically just means we'll be fading really high ones. Um, between 60 and 90 or we'll be getting ready to smash it through 117.50 dollars are also uh, we're watching 17 double o very very closely good luck out there people good weekend catch you all on monday ciao